If you truly want to go and pursue a career in politics, go for it. I'm not going to begrudge you for that. Plus, I don't begrudge Saquon for leaving for more money. Do what you got to do. Do you. But if that's what's in your heart or if that's partially in your heart, tell us now, pack your bags, get out, and let us find the quarterback who wants to play football. I'm not going through this this year. See, here's the problem, BT. I feel like everything Aaron Rodgers does, whatever it is, Gets overhyped, gets over. You know, people go nuts about it one way or another, scrutinized to the umph degree. Aaron Rodgers has shown nothing but dedication to this organization. Aaron Rodgers could have easily retired before becoming a New York Jet. He could have easily retired after he got hurt last year four plays in. Yet he did the opposite, trying to come back as soon as he could for this team, for this organization. And now, off of yesterday's news, and by the way, I don't even know who Robert Kennedy is, so I'm not into the politics. I have no idea, all right? Don't know, don't care. That's my policy. Don't know, don't care. But I do know this. Rodgers gets a bad rap. Now, he's going to go out there and actually play for the Jets, and that is the reason to have hope if you're a Jet fan because you have number eight. But even this, I think, is getting blown out of proportion now to where we're talking about, oh, Rodgers doesn't care about the New York Jets because he's involved potentially in some political nonsense. Mm -hmm. Well, I know that the Jets don't have the guts to do this, but if they see, because Rodgers would probably have no issue straddling the fence of, you know, sticking his beak in politics, obviously playing quarterback for the Jets. So he wouldn't do this on his own, but... If the Jets really think, and I, I don't know what the Jets are thinking because their owner's involved in politics right. as well, and they're involved in everything but winning football. He's actually left before. The oh, owner's I know he has. Obviously. Yeah, right? of course, for, just, for, for just Trump and, like and Chris Rod was here. Yeah, Roger's name gets brought up. Yeah, Woody yeah. actually left, and we're not making a big deal about that, but yeah. now with Rodgers, it's, oh, my God. Listen, do I think that Aaron Rodgers is going to become, first of all, you're not going to win the election, so he's not going to become the vice president. That doesn't mean that you can't be distracted. Is that what he's actually running for? I mean, that's I, I, that's. Big Basically, what he's being pulled into is oh his running God. mate for, for, yeah, yes, as the VP. So, okay, so let, let's let's slow down for one sec. The thing that that I never thought that some people did think, all right, was that Aaron Rodgers from the get-go, from the jump, was hustling the Jets. Like, from, from on every level, get the most money, stretch things out. Packers weren't going to acquiesce to his contract demands. Nobody else around the NFL really thought he was worth it, especially the way it ended on the finale against the Lions a couple of years back, right. that Sunday night win. And, you know, So he didn't have a great year before he went to the Jets. So there were a lot of people around the league who didn't even know if he could play anymore. Obviously, the Jets' desperation, Zach Wilson, that had tried to salvage, throw a Hail Mary, hasn't worked out thus far. And I've given him every benefit of the doubt. And I really like Aaron. I do. I think he's honest. I think he's, you know, he's right. a little off with certain things, a little weird with unique. certain things, but he's a little unique, maybe a better way to frame it. But I think he's got a good soul, and I think he does want to be a great player again for the New York Jets. But I also now am beginning to think for the first time, even going back to him flipping the football on the field pregame, I, I, listen, I, I you know, I, I was suspending reality during this improbable return from an Achilles, mm -hmm. blown out Achilles. I, I, I'm starting to think that he was just playing us. Like... And I've never, other people have thought that. I've never thought that he used that to either get more, you know, clout or more clicks yeah, or both. Attention, right, I, exactly. I'm starting to think that there is an element of that, and that is why he wanted New York. Yeah, and I think the exact opposite, and it felt that way. And people could say, oh, well, how do you think he doesn't want attention? Why go on McAfee? I feel like that's different. Maybe he goes on, first of all, he's getting paid, but he also goes on to vent his side, to give his side of things instead of indirectly, you know, dealing with the reporters. He goes on with somebody that he trusts and can say everything he's got to say. The thing that bothered me most last year was that he did it while he wasn't playing. Let's not forget, for us, New York sports fans, New York Jets fans, what matters most is not what Rodgers says, what Rodgers does. And we haven't seen him do anything. So that's the issue. Focus on that and hope. The, the hope is, and hopefully he gets healthy and will come back and do something on the field. And then all this other BS won't even factor in. I for, firmly believe, BT, and all, the action, all I can do is go by the actions with mm -hmm. Rodgers. Nothing that I have seen from him indicates to me that he is not prioritizing being the New York Jets quarterback or making the Jets a great organization. He said it from day one. He was up for the challenge, talking about adding another Super Bowl trophy to that case. It looked a little lonely, trying to build the Jets organization back up to one that's respectable. 
trying to get his players to buy in and be winners, trying to cut out the noise, the leaks in that organization, trying to come back from that injury, even as unrealistic as it is, the fact that he even got as close as he did or was working as hard as he did at it, that shows to me all the actions from Aaron Rodgers are speaking louder than his words. I have no doubt that he wants to be, his top priority is to be a successful New York Jets quarterback. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Uh, you know, when he first came here, I thought his intentions were pure. I, I really did. You know, purest in the football sense and everything that comes, the trappings of being a, a New York athlete. But, you know, there, there's a part of me that is now beginning to think that he's just so calculated and cunning. He's like, let me find the most pathetic, desperate franchise that just happens to coincide in a massive market. And let me go there yeah, and if I play and I play, I don't want to play poorly. Of course, he's got right. pride. I'm not trying to intimate otherwise. But if I play well, awesome. If not, yeah, you know, whatever. Just stretch it out a little bit here and use this platform. I don't. I don't fully think that, but it's the first time that I've actually thought that it's not all about football, and that is terrifying. And I, I've hit my limit. Where is why the Jets need to actually sack up for once. But the problem is they don't. No, there's nothing unified about the Jets. The head coach is terrified because if he has a bad year, he's going to get fired. The general manager, who's got to have a good offseason. By the way, the Jets haven't done a whole lot at all. I mean, because if he doesn't have a good season, he's going to get fired. The owner, you know, sticking his beak in politics, sticking his beak in social media. We're going to wear this uniform. Everything about other, everything other than winning. It's like I. It's just very confusing. And here's Aaron Rodgers who comes in with the power stick saying, look at these jumps, man. They need me more than anybody needs me. I can do whatever I want. And I don't begrudge you for juggling multiple things if he wants to make a run in politics. I really don't. But you better decide before OTA start. Because if this nonsense seeps into the season, I'm driving to that facility, and I'm grabbing Aaron <laughs> Rodgers, and I'm putting him in a car, and I'm driving him out of the state of New Jersey. I'm going to tie him up, and he's leaving. Now, I'm not going through this this year. If if there is any doubt in Rodgers' desire to play quarterback for the Jets, that is something the higher-ups have to take care of. You can't go into a season with a guy who's not all in. Yeah, but, but think about how desperate they are. Yeah, they, they, yeah, yeah you, but, but but to what extent? Well, like I'm fine. You with tell me. Him, They've I'm, let him do it every once so far. I'm fine with letting him bring in some players and having suggestions. If this were, and by the way, whether it's true or not. I mean, I believe there's some credence to it. I don't think it's actually going to happen. That's not a quote but, from Rodgers, to be fair. Right, and and that doesn't even matter in this particular case. I'm just saying, off of all the actions from Rodgers, I truly believe his number one priority is to win football games for the New York Jets. I understand the skepticism. Mm -hmm. I firmly believe that that is his priority. And I, if I'm a Jet fan, I'm excited about watching him actually get on the Sleeping field and starting to win some games. And this is the first time that I haven't fully thought that, and it terrifies me. 877-337-6666. BT and Sal on the fan. Brandon Tierney, Sal, the Cotter Show. It's out of our Town Fair Tire Studio. Our friends at Town Fair remind you that you always get the guaranteed lowest price on name brand tires from Connecticut to Maine. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. I mean, this this is just it's like a nightmare. I'm getting ready St. John's UConn. I'm got a, a, a St. John's Seton Hall tomorrow. You know, I'm trying to enjoy March Madness before you know what the Masters is here. Baseball starting. Garrett Cole's situation. Aaron Judge's situation. When's Kodai Senga coming back? Maybe the Mets make a move for DH. I would like to talk about things that are normal. I mean, I saw this story, and it's just, it's it's unbelievable. It's uh, This team, it's, it's just unbelievable. Chris is in Massapequa. Well, Chris, BT, and Sal, what's happening, buddy? Hey, Brandon, Sal. Hope all is good. So, uh, listen, Brandon, I grew up where you grew up, and I, I, I got to say, you guys do this for a living, and you can talk radio. If you guys aren't going to agree with the fact that Aaron Rodgers is all about the fact that if you see through it, and Brandon, you should know this more from growing up where you grew up. Good. He's all about insecurities. He's very insecure. I don't care how much money you make. You can make sixteen fifty an hour or fifty million a year. It doesn't matter. You can tell the guy is insecure and he's not satisfied with himself. And that's a mental thing. For I, I think the exact opposite, Chris. Yeah. I'm not sure. He, he, Aaron mm. Rodgers is so secure, he doesn't give a crap what anybody else no. says. And No, you're wrong. Aaron Rodgers is exactly comfortable with being who he is. Watch him. Listen he's to him. He's looking pay. for the attention because he's so insecure. No, no. 
No. Well, Chris, it's an interesting theory. I mean, you know, I, I don't I don't know that I agree, and I don't know that I disagree. I hadn't really thought about it in those terms because I don't really think about insecurities pertaining to a, a, a quarterback. Maybe a young, like, you know, Zach, yeah. like Zach's insecure of the status, you know, when he was still mm-hmm. here. Okay. Pertaining to Aaron Rodgers, I just think that forget about his – his place in the world in terms of how he values himself for a mm-hmm. moment. I just think at the end of the day that Aaron Rodgers is a very deep, very independent thinker, which I appreciate. Right. I don't agree with everything that he thinks about or that he espouses, but I do think that he's very cerebral. Um, maybe sometimes for his, a little too much for his own good, but I'd rather that than a shallow, uh, a lacking of depth in, in a person. But I don't see him as insecure. Yeah. I, I actually kind of side more with you. Like, he's so secure, does whatever he wants. Yeah. Doesn't care what anybody thinks. Yeah. yeah, like, oh, the darkness retreat, for example. Yeah. People yeah. ripping him, and he's like, yeah, whatever. whatever. That's fine. Like, it's your opinion. Yeah, you could think what you want. I'm going to do me. And that's why I love Aaron Rodgers, because he is secure with himself, doesn't give a crap about what anybody else says. Now, you want to say that he's craving attention? I disagree with that, but I know that that's popular opinion among many different people. That's fine. We could disagree. You could say, well, if he doesn't love attention, then why go on these shows? That's a different argument. To say that he's insecure is just incorrect. Aaron Rodgers is so secure with himself that he can come to the New York Jets and say that that Super Bowl trophy looks a little lonely, and we got to do what we got to do to bring another one there. That that's secure. Now, everybody's got some insecurities. I don't care how much money you make. Absolutely. How, you know, what, what you, who you're dating, whatever. Like, there's always some kind of insecurities. But being aware of your insecurities is what makes you a secure person. Aaron Rodgers, to me, I watch him. I listen to him speak. He gets it. He's as secure as they come. Whether he's insecure or not, uh, I'll tell you this, he's no dummy. Because yeah. what he's probably doing is preying on the most desperate franchise in the NFL. There is not a damn thing outside of committing a crime that And it would have to be a bad one, fairly egregious, not a misdemeanor, where Aaron Rodgers would be told by the Jets to get lost. He's got them by the stones. He can do whatever he wants. Yeah. He can tweet whatever he wants. He can say whatever he wants with McAfee. But did you get that feeling last year? I, I did not. Like, I, like during I did not. Season, think about this, BT. And you and I had all disagreements about this yeah. in season. Oh, my God, just stay away. Yeah, like, I wanted him to stay because I thought it would be good for Zach right. to just kind of uh, expand and, on the season. And to his credit, while it would have been easy to stay away uh-huh he was here well was it to his credit or was it to fulfill something else which I, is kind of what we're talking about today yeah, that's fair if I, you're if you're not heard and you're irrelevant and if you're irrelevant you're not going to run for politics right. you could try you're not going to have much steam behind it and listen i don't want to get too much into the depth of of, of human psychology because mm-hmm. it's not my thing but generally speaking i feel fairly equipped to say that usually just back to the insecurity thing which i yeah. do disagree with people who are insecure generally conform because they don't want to be called out for not doing what most people are doing. If you're insecure, you're like, let me blend in with the masses and kind of right. you know, hide a little bit. You're not going out there front and center saying everything that's pretty much contrary to what a lot of people think. So I don't think he's insecure. I think he's incredibly calculated and cunning, and I cannot have this at the expense of my franchise anymore. You want to play quarterback? I got you back. You're not sure? Get lost. Charlie's in Manhattan. Charlie, BT, and Sal, what's happening? Hey, I'll tell you what I'm committed to. I'm committed to watching Aaron Rodgers finish off the job that he started at the beginning of last year, which is to bring down the New York Jets franchise. Bring Bring it down to his level, Hmm. okay, to his selfishness, to his arrogance, to remake this franchise in his image. All right? This is what this guy he, is. He's a, he's a four-time here. MVP. He and a, Charlie, me. he's a four-time he MVP and Super Bowl champion. The Jets can't be any more down. And you think Aaron Rodgers that's right. is bringing and that's them why down? He went there. Yeah. And that's why he went there, because he knew he would have a room full of suckers yeah. who would suck up everything he said, who would believe him that he wants to run out onto the field carrying the American flag and bring the New York Jets back to their Well, well that's not that he actually did that, Charlie. So, I mean, <laughs> that actually, you know, that, that, and that was, I I'll tell you, that was one of my favorite moments. I love that. I, I, and it was a great moment. And okay. It's going to be part of his well, then why goodbye, are you uh, it? retirement package at the end of next year. And well, then two years after that, we're going to see him jog onto the field in New England. And then no, we're going to no. hear Sal tell us, oh, it doesn't matter. He's gone. 
doesn't matter what jersey he's wearing. So you don't he, like he Rodgers? See, Charlie, it, it let doesn't. me get, do you, Have you ever liked Aaron Rodgers? All sincerity. I have thought Aaron Rodgers was the most arrogant, show-up guy in the league. If he threw a ball, he wanted every camera that he knew was trained on him to know that that was the receiver's fault. Uh, Tom Brady that didn't do that? Route. Tom Brady didn't do uh, that no. either? Tom Brady didn't berate offensive linemen and just undress people left and right? Whether it's like flailing his hands, like you know, if you can, if you run this route, why'd mm-hmm. you go that way? Keep going straight. Don't cut this way. That's what quarterbacks do. It's part of their job, oh, come Charlie. On, Charlie, get come with on. it. Yeah, a little he's, nitpick there, Charles. He, come on. He's gonna bring the Jets. <laughs> Think about what you just said. Aaron Rodgers, Super Bowl champion, four-time MVP, came here to bring the Jets down to his level. He's on levels <laughs> that they will never reach as a franchise ever, uh. even with him. And he came here to bring them down. Quite the opposite. He took on the challenge. Now he may not have had he many tried options. tried to elevate. Exactly. I believe that. And, and, I believe that. And what's the number? Like, he's tried every which way he could, but the number one thing is doing it on the field. Yep. He got hurt for the season. What is he supposed to do? Listen, any Jet fan that's knocking Aaron Rodgers in terms of being a player or whatever, uh, and we all love him, Aaron Rodgers is twice as good as Joe Namath ever was, maybe three times. So you want to put it, to, you want to contextualize it locally. You know, Joe Willie, who's always berating the Jets, and we love Joe. Joe hasn't has had a good thing to say about the organization for 10 years, basically. Aaron Rodgers, twice as good as Joe Namath. Understand that. But the but that's not the point. I'm just I'm just saying right. that. I don't want this to get twisted. It's not making him out to be some menial third string backup who's preying on the weak. Right. Aaron Rodgers is an all time superstar legend icon. He might be the most talented quarterback in the history of football when you combine everything. When he, especially when he was younger, you know, velocity, right. ability to hit Quickness, things on the run, accuracy, mobility, sure, intellect, process, yeah. all that stuff. He's an all timer. Oh, I know. only one Super Bowl. He needs two or three more. Right. All right, meathead. It's not always as direct. Correct as that. There's, you know, you, you can't win if your team doesn't draft your wide receivers, which, by the way, they didn't. Oh, yeah, and a couple of years ago in Green Bay, one of his best his best running back was a former wide receiver that had to convert to running back because they didn't draft any running backs either. So it's not about Rodgers being amazing. He is. Can he still be amazing? I don't know. That's not the point today. My point is, if he's not, you know, not if he, Aaron, if you're not sure that you want to play quarterback, then that's your answer. If you're not fully sure, you're saying to yourself, you don't want to. And if that's the case, get out. Meanwhile, the report a couple of days ago. Get out while they still have time to do something about this. That's the other problem. I didn't mean to jump on you, but that's the other problem, Sal. Like, again, again, the the election's not going to be won, you know, even if it's... uh, He's not going to be in the White House as the vice president or or near the White House. That's not going to happen, all right? But Maybe could, after a Super Bowl win, he will be. <laughs> it could be a, enough of a distraction that, that further complicates the Jets' world, all right? So if, if you have any foresight or if you have any intel that he might actually do this, you've got to preemptively step in and you've got to say to him, it's us or it's that. And if he's not sure, you got to cut him, you got to trade him, you got to do something because you need to win this year. Meanwhile, and I know we got a break here. I just yeah. want to add this. Like last week, the report was that Rodgers wants to play three to four more years. <sighs> Which Not I run didn't for mean. office. <laughs> well, maybe gonna... four more years in office. Oh. I mean, maybe that's playing on words. No, I, I mean, <laughs> I doubt it. Wants to play. Right. Does he want to play games or play the Jets? Yeah, I got news right. for him. If he keeps up this nonsense, I'm going to impeach him as the quarterback yeah. of the Jets. Now, he the wants, he theme. wants Get to lost. be here. You should be excited, BT, about it. your quarterback here. I am excited, but I'm not but I'm but I'm nervous by the distractions. I truly am. Yep. And and I don't listen, I want to be clear. He, he's not gonna be he's not gonna win. So that's it's not about that. It's about if he's seriously contemplating doing that, how serious are you? about doing the job you were brought here to do.